With Paris Hilton's wedding to venture capitalist Carter Rayum coming up, it makes perfect sense that the lovebirds would purchase a new crib together. Paris's new oceanfront getaway is located in Malibu, right on the beach, and it cost the couple $8.4 million, but it looks perfect for some romantic nights. Miss Hilton also continues to own her longtime main mansion in Mulholland Estates, as well as a penthouse in New York City she snagged in 2014. Today we'll look at all of her stunning properties. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Paris Hilton is a media personality, socialite, model, actress, singer, businesswoman and more who's also an heiress to the Hilton Hotel's empire. She will always be the it girl to me and say what you will but Paris totally started the influencer thing. At the time of this recording her net worth is at an estimated 300 million dollars and Paris has transformed her fame into a full on brand which includes 19 product lines, 45 boutiques, condo developments and much more. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, seeing where one of my favorite stars calls home, Paris Hilton, including her new Malibu love nest. I'm trying to get to 500,000 subscribers here, so if you're watching and you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and help us get there. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to chat, and now let's get into this video. First, we can check out the home Paris and Carter recently purchased in Malibu. In August, it was reported that everyone's favorite hotel heiress turned it girl turned businesswoman snagged a beachfront home for $8.4 million, which is perfect for when she and her man want to escape Beverly Hills for more laid back vibe. Located on La Costa Beach, Paris's new getaway is in a prime spot and right on the water. Records show the Malibu home was built back in 1955, but it seems to have undergone a huge renovation sometime in the 90s. While it's contemporary in style, the interiors also have a vintage feel with salmon colored tile and rounded granite counters in the kitchen, just to name a few details. Paris's Malibu love nest spans 2,968 square feet of space with three beds and three baths throughout. In fact, Miss Hilton already teased a promo video for her series Cooking with Paris in this very kitchen. And I mean, if she doesn't feel like cooking, she's only a short five minute drive from the longtime trendy restaurant Nobu Malibu. While Paris and Carter's crib is right on top of the Pacific Coast Highway, the modern home is nicely hidden behind a dark blue wall along with cameras and a security system. Before walking in, there's also a simply landscaped courtyard and the exterior is a solid white color. While inside, tiled floors grace the open concept living area and dining room. As you may expect from a beachfront home, there are full walls of glass everywhere to take in the stunning ocean views. Aside from the walls of windows, the open living room boasts a fireplace to warm things up when it gets chilly, along with a flat screen TV and bar to one side. On the opposite wall, you'll find the dining area. The main living space also has a spacious concrete deck outside with room for an outdoor eating area or just to relax. Paris is probably already cooking up a storm in this slightly vintage 90s meets early 2000s aesthetic kitchen. There are rounded granite countertops with a ton of meal prep space as well as top of the line stainless steel appliances. The staircase is built with salmon colored tiles which I think matches the vintage beach house vibe perfectly and upstairs is where you'll find the home's three bedrooms. Paris and Carter's Ocean View Master Retreat offers hardwood flooring, its own private balcony as well as a cozy fireplace and mounted TV above. The luxury attached bath might be slightly dated, but it's surely still stylish. There's some retro colored marble, a built in soaking tub, glass shower, as well as double vanities. Outside the home, stairs from the patio lead to La Costa Beach, and on Paris's property, some other add ons include an outdoor shower, jacuzzi, and a two car garage. Of course, Paris still maintains her longtime mansion located in Beverly Hills. Back in 2007, she purchased this home in the celeb favored guard gated community of Mulholland Estates for $5.9 million. The Mediterranean style mansion was built back in 1991 and spans nearly 7,000 square feet of space with five beds and 5.5 baths. Meanwhile, the grounds surrounding the home span about an acre. There's a gorgeous two story entryway with a winding staircase where Paris often poses for Instagram pics. 
Other features of her mansion include living rooms, a large family room with wet bar, office, gourmet kitchen and breakfast room, butler's pantry, wine closet, and more. Her home also came complete with a full gym, but word was that Paris transformed that into a shoe closet instead. Paris also has a custom screening room, which she claimed is one of her favorite spots in the house. Another cool bonus lies in this room of the home, which she explained. I built one of those hidden escape doors that looks like a bookshelf. It leads to a huge showroom for all my products. It's kind of like a secret office. The room is decorated in a French Victorian vibe like much of the rest of the home was. And there's a 120 inch screen, photo booth, pink pool table and more. Meanwhile, up a small flight of stairs in here, there's also Club Paris, her very own nightclub upstairs with everything from smoke machines to a dancing pool and a DJ booth. In 2020, Paris revealed her major home renovation that was going on, and we could see she stripped all of the interiors down to make way for a brand new look. She gutted the whole mansion and decided to switch things up completely. Paris even has a new glam room where she can easily get ready for events or a night out with Carter. Elsewhere in the mansion, Paris's master suite has a glamorous bath attached as well as a private balcony with city views. And the star modified the home to fit two decked out closets the size of an apartment or bigger. Not to mention a dressing room attached to the master bath. Moving to the grounds of Paris's main residence, there's a sparkling pool and spa along with an attached grotto and her famed doggy mansion, a feature I actually need in my life. In 2009, Paris purchased this doggy mansion she paid $325,000 for, but we all know she loves dogs just like me and always has a handful of pets living with her. The upscale dog house boasts 300 square feet of living space with built-in air conditioning controlled from the outside to protect the dogs from the LA heat. There's also heating, of course, for when the weather cools down. Her dog's mansion is Spanish colonial style with two levels, and the second floor has a balcony where the pups can catch a beautiful view. Inside, there are bright pink walls, a black wrought iron lined railing, and even a chandelier. Day beds, bean bags, and dog beds are also around the house for the pups to relax on. This place sounds nicer than my apartment already. And outside, there's a cute fenced in turf lawn while the large front door welcomes the pups with a gold fire hydrant. All right, so now we've taken a look at the homes of Paris Hilton, so that's all I got for her house tour. We also know she maintains a penthouse in New York City, so if you want to check out that spot in detail, be sure to watch our other house tour on this channel, which we'll link to at the end. After seeing Paris's new Malibu home that's right on the beach, as well as her longtime mansion in Mulholland Estates, which would you rather live at? I guess for a full-time residence, the one in Beverly Hills is more spacious, but then again, who wouldn't want an oceanfront Malibu house? I just might have to pick her main home, if only for the doggy mansion. Be sure to let me know your pick down in the comments as well as what you liked or didn't like about Paris' home. I would love to get to know more of you guys as well, so check out my TikTok and see what I've been up to over there. Maybe I'll even follow back. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!